come on. <sighs> Work with me here. better, but still needs a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. It's not like I need a manual, but I'm really glad it's here. I bet Dad would have liked the idea of me using his tools to fix a ride. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. I can definitely see some problems. I just need to match them to the right tool. This thing is going to the fuck up. Maybe. Sick. Gross, but also kind of inspiring. Hmm, <laughs> what do I see? <laughs> I know. When life gives you gunk, make, uh, art, I guess.
It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. It's not like I need a manual, but I'm really glad it's here. That should help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. Go back from whence you came. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Won't do anything. Fits like a deadly electric glove. <sighs> Much better. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Please, I need you. Junkyard Queen, where are you at? 
Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... <laughs> Badass. <laughs> exactly. Hey. I'm not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? For fuck's sake, the money wasn't there. What do you want from me? I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Why is it? That chicks think it's okay to hit me. But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't. Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know, right now, why you give a shit about this woman? Why do you care so much? Because, fuck you. I'm asking the questions here. Look. None of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is. Now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in, Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, 
Calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Uh! Ah! I'm not losing you. 